Hi guys, from Ray46 here, we're giving ourselves back to MotoGP19 on the Xbox One X. It is the season finale, it is Valencia, my final race in Moto3. Let's see if we can end on a high and uh, hopefully get a good contract offer for Moto2 next season. Let's go qualify. So this is actually going a lot better than I was expecting. I was quite a bit quicker in FP3. I was in the 144s. Now Mino's done a 145 at the moment. So I should be able to beat that no problem. And hopefully be on pole position. Mino's actually on track ahead of me. So we'll... Uh, yeah, we're already under by quite a margin. It took me a, f a few laps to actually kind of figure this place out with a Moto3. I was uh, braking a little bit early in that, but um, yeah, after done a few more laps and just braking a little bit later and later, lap on lap. Look at that, 1.4 under at the moment. I think Mino's actually going to get in the way. Can I sneak through? Not yet. Oh, right behind him up the inside. Sorry, you're going to have to get nudged out of the way because uh, you are in the way. Has that damaged my time? No, 1.7 under the time at the moment. Could be looking at a 143 here, which would be the, be the fastest lap I've done in a free practice or qualifying. Okay. Run to the line. And it is the 143.4. That's more than enough for pole. That's the end of pole the position by 1.8 seconds. Session, and we can finally see the grid positions that await us in tomorrow's Grand Prix. It was a long weekend for the Moto3 riders, but finally the showdown is here. We're coming to you from the starting grid. There's just a few minutes to go before the race begins. 25 degree track temperature. Um, medium front and a medium rear. Actually, I'm not entirely convinced about that medium front. I might switch to a soft front. So I think that'll be fine. Uh, oh, Dalaport has gone the same, actually. But he's literally the only other one. The riders are all on the starting grid just a few moments to go and the lights at Ricardo Tormo Valencia will go out starting the race so obviously my chance at the title is gone that went a couple of rounds ago at Phillip Island um, so yeah I just want to get a strong end to the season if Canet can beat Antonelli and Dalla Porta then Canet will win the championship so it's all down to Canet and whether he can actually win the title. I mean, he's got a, a little buffer over Antonelli and uh, a bigger buffer over Dalla Porta. So it's pretty much a two-horse race for this one, but it is mathematically possible that Dalla Porta can still win. I think, anyway. It's been a while since I actually... Uh, been a few days since I've played this game, so... Um, I can't actually remember back to what the championship is like, but I know that Antonelli is fairly close to uh, Canet. Uh, I think uh, Dallaporta was on 25 points behind Canet, so yeah, he would basically have to win the uh, the race and have Canet not score at all, but then obviously it will go on race wins. And I don't know who's up the most out of those two. So yeah, it's basically between Antonelli and Canet. At the moment, I'm just going to do my own thing. Got a bit of a gap going at the moment. 0.666. We've got Point the Devil to uh, Canet. Fifteen laps around here. Very wide through the final corner. 
Oh, well, we haven't pulled away that much. And on Chu is in third by the looks of it. So we've got KTM 1, 2, 3. Antonelli's in fourth. So yeah, that is not enough. That is not enough for Antonelli to win the championship. Canet is doing exactly what he needs to do. He's in second place. He's ahead of his main rivals. So my main thing is try and win this race and see if I can get third place off of Dalla Porta. That would really help. So yeah, this is literally the last Moto3 race in this pro career that I'll be doing. More than likely the last Moto3 race I'll be doing in MotoGP19. Then we go on to, to obviously Moto2. And then up, up to MotoGP. So still standing in the lead for now. But we haven't got a huge lead. Canet is still there. In fact he's through but I'm going to cut that back and get the exit. I'd like to take a wide entrance into that so you can get the run out. But obviously that does open open yourself up to an attack from, well, in my case, Canet. He's right behind me. Got a feeling, that, oh no, he's already through. I was going to say, I thought he was going to have a go into the final. Oh, on Chu's had a go. On Chu is through, but not for long. So I was momentarily back down to third. And now I'm in second place. But on Chu is uh, coming past. So I'm back down to third again. Oh, got a slightly better exit than on Chu. On the brakes, we're back up to second. Oh, no, he's back underneath. Yeah, we got it back though, it's fine. Okay, so we are in second place. We're still right behind Canet. In fact, almost went around the outside of him there. Try and get a better exit. That's me back into the lead. Not for long, though. Or maybe it will be back into the lead. Not quite. I might have to outbreak him into turn eight. I do. Yeah, I've got the inside line, so that is me back into the lead. But I know he's going to have a go into turn 11. Oh, yeah, gave me a nudge there. Wasn't able to cut it back because he sent me wide. the inside, keeping a tight line. Oh, just kissed the grass there. Oh, he was a little bit later on the brakes into the final corner and on Chu almost caused me to crash there, trying to go through me. But luckily, I stayed in the second place. Slipstreaming can it. Not really doing a lot. Down into turn one up the inside. Got it. Got it back. So back into the lead on lap 4 of 15. Oh, another touch there from Canet. Thought he was going to try and shove up the inside, but he didn't. Right, let's see if I can uh, break him. Tires are feeling fine. Soft front. At the moment was definitely the way to go. And I keep Canet behind. There's a very tight line by me there. So Canet still in second. I think we've got a little gap at the moment actually. Yeah, it wasn't close enough to have a go through turn 11 that time. So that is fine. OK, 
Okay, down to the final corner. We should be safe. No one should be able to uh, dive bomb me into here. Yeah, we've got a nice little gap emerging. So on to lap 5.8 of a second. Antonelli still in 4th, Della Porter in 5th. That is obviously not enough for those two. It was going to be a massive ask for Della Porter anyway. So it's looking like Aaron Cannett is going to be the Moto3 World Champion this season. It's just annoying that I can get going earlier on in the season or get any decent points. I think if I had got some points in the first two races and my controller hadn't died on me at Haref, we would have definitely been in the, uh, the hunt for the title. been a season of recovery for me and uh, yeah we've had a lot of ups a lot of downs but uh, yeah we've uh, when we've won we've won by quite a margin we've had some good battles this season as well So coming to the end of lap number five. Still got a bit of a gap. Still point nine. Yeah, so will this be enough for me to clinch third place or still third place from Dalla Porter? Is it going to be enough? And more importantly, what contract offers am I going to get for Moto2? Because I've obviously not won the championship. But we've had some strong performances. Oh. Okay, so our gap to can it is 1.1 I think we've broken them on lap 6 just pulling away now one2 yeah the gap is going up that's what I like to see. Okay, down into the final corner. And it is time to finish lap six and start lap seven. That gap looks like it's come down a bit. They are quicker than me through the final corner. So it was 1.2, it is now 0.7. Can it having a second wind? Definitely looks like he's closed that gap down even more. Is he going to be able to attack again? 0.6. Yeah, the gap's coming down. Gap is coming back down. through turn six and El Nieto. Point six, still the gap. So stabilized around point six at the moment. It's gonna feel so weird going on to Moto twos after being on Moto threes for so long. 
when I'd done my video about uh, Quattararo being signed up for the Factory Yamaha team for 2021 and Lorenzo being te test rider from a, a Yamaha MotoGP as well. It actually, when I'd when I done qualifying as Quattararo at uh, Le Mans, it took me a few laps to actually get used to a MotoGP bike before because I've been using Moto3 for so long now. Or it feels like so long, I've just got used to it. I think Moto 2 is going to take me a few laps to uh, to get back into the, the swing of things with that. So I haven't used Moto 2 for a very long time. Like the Moto 3s at the beginning of this season. So we're on lap 8. Still leading. My gap looks like it's extending again. 0.9. Yeah, it's gone back up. Yeah, when I was uh, when we were at Sepang, and I was trying to think of what the Moto 3s were like around Valencia back when I uh, done the normal career with Moto 3s. I think uh, I think it was fairly easy back then. I didn't know with all the updates in that weather this was going to be a difficult race whether they sped them up or not there's obviously only one real straight on this track which is a start finish straight which is obviously ideal with the, the bike I'm on cap still 0.9 and this track does suit the, uh, the Moto 3s very nicely Oh, that's wide. So we're going to end lap eight. Still in the lead. The gap looks like it's coming back down now. It was 0.9. It is now just under 0.6 of a second. So we're on lap nine. And the gap's come back down. Seems to be certain corners. I seem to be able to accelerate better. It's point four now. Can it is close to catching me back up? Okay. Through turn six again. Yeah, he's uh, not too far behind now. Half a second. So I'm definitely not out of the woods at the moment. Maybe Canet wants to win. Oh, no. Canet wants to win not only the championship, but he wants to win the race as well. He's pushed me down to second place. Sneak through on the inside again like we've done before. Yeah, that worked. He'll probably have me into the final corner though. Yeah. Try and get the exit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Trading places. He's probably going to have me back down the straight as well. I can hear him closing already. Yeah, there he goes. down into turn one back up the inside no didn't work that time didn't work okay, into turn two. Oh, he's gone a bit wide he's gone a bit wide didn't affect him too much try and get him into turn four up the inside oh no 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 that didn't work very well let him back through Oh, on shoe is still there as well. At the inside into Angel Nieto corner. Try and get a better exit. Not really. He's still in the lead. 
Try and outbreak him into the next corner. There we go. Oh. Well, it worked. But he's going to have a go into turn 11. So leave the door open and try and swing it back and get the exit. There we go. So just tease him into making a, uh, an overtake and then get him back straight away. And that seems to be working at the moment. So coming to the end of lap number 10. He didn't have a go into the final corner. But now we're on the straight again. He's sure to be able to blast past. But he doesn't get me by the line. I don't think he will come past this lap actually. No, he's not going to. So we managed to uh, get a slight better exit out of the final corner. That was just enough to hold him off down the whole straight. Which doesn't happen very often. So now we're on lap 11 of 15. Yeah, Canet is definitely going to win the championship. Even when he still tries to uh, overtake me. He's risking. But he's still going to win. He's ahead of all of his rivals. I'm no longer in it. So he hasn't actually got to beat me. He's done enough where he is in second. Oh, no, that's too wide for me. He didn't come through, though, so that's good. Okay. We are getting towards the tail end of this season and this race getting towards the end of the season in fact this is the final race of the season ok is he going to come past this time not by the line he won't here he comes there he goes Oh. ok so where can I get him back into turn two. He's gone wide again. He went wide and I'm on the inside. Oh, he's back through. Can I cut back? Nope. Okay, so I can't get the cut back at uh, turn four. But I'm on the inside now for the next corner, turn six. Still in the lead for now. Is he going to be able to blast past? Not if I stay on the inside. Should be fine. I've gone a bit wide. He's through. Got a slightly better exit. Sneaking through on the flip flop. But he's going to be on the inside for turn 11, isn't he? Give him room. Try and cut back. Oh, on shoes there as well. There we go, back into the lead. Great battle we're having at the front. This is what it should be like. Okay, down into the final corner. Oh, he had a go at being on the inside, but it didn't work. Right, we got three laps to go. Can I hold on for the last three laps? I'm going to hold him to uh, turn one. Oh, a bit wide, bit wide. Oh, on the green as well. A point four is the gap at the moment.
Tires are doing alright. The rear is starting to move around a bit. But it's fine. It's not doing anything crazy. The front isn't overheating too much. Can it still right behind at the moment? Is he going to have a go into turn 11? Oh, yeah, he is. He is. He's back through. And not. Oh, can I? No, no. Oh, no, not quite. Trying to sneak through on the inside again. Here we go. Here we go. And the final corner. No, he's got a slightly uh, quicker line. That did compromise his exit a little bit. Alright, use a bit of slipstream. It's time to start the penultimate lap of the race, lap 14. Can't do anything about Cannot on this lap. Not close enough to have a go into turn two unless he goes wide again. Which he has. He's gone wide again. Have I got it? Have I got it? Yeah, just about. Oh no, he's on the inside trying to cut back. We've tried this before, but it didn't work. But it did that time. Oh, that sent me wide for turn five. But again, a slightly better drive out of the corner. I'm on the wrong side now, though. There we go, getting the exit out of turn six and back into the lead. Turn eight. Right in Canet's way at the moment. And turn eleven. No. Oh. oh, we've lost two places. Momentarily anyway. Got back in front of On Chu. Can we get Canet into the next corner? No. Not quite. No, now I'm on the wrong side. On Chu's back through as well. That's me back down to third place. We've got one lap to go. Into the final corner. Slightly better on the brakes and on shoe there. But he's on the inside. I get a slightly better exit. Right. Time to slip through. Can it? It's time for the final lap of the race. Lap 15. Can it's going to come back past? No, he's not. He's pushing me. He's pushing me. Right, if Canet goes wide at turn two again, I'm going to have him. He has, he's gone wide. I took a very tight line there and that's allowed me back into the lead. Is it time to go? Let's see if we can go. Or is Canet going to... Oh, he's gone wide there. He's gone very wide there. Oh, all over the curb. All right, come on. This is the final lap. I want to end the season on a high. I want to end the complete opposite way to the way we started the season, which was on our ass. No points. I don't know if Canet's close enough to have a go into turn 11. There's a little gap there. Alright, into turn 11. He's not there. He's not there. I think we're safe. Gap is 0.7 over the split. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. We've just got this long corner to go. Turn 13, then down to turn 14, the final corner. And we've got a gap. We have got a gap. We've done enough on the final lap. Okay, run to the line. We're going to win the final race of the season after a, uh, a manic battle with Canet and on Chew as well. There we go. End of the season. Well, we for the cameras to take us to Park Ferme to meet the stars of the race. Let's take a quick look at the Moto3 class final ranking. So, Canet will be the champion, of course. He beat both uh, Antonelli and Dalla Porta. 
So, have I done enough? Oh, no, are you kidding me? I'm literally one point behind Dalla Porta in the championship. One point. Ah. Uh, that's not good. Still can't believe that one point separating me and Dan Laporte really third. I wouldn't have been able to catch Antonelli, but uh, oh, that's so frustrating. Right, that's it. That's the end of the season. And that is the end of the video, guys. You have to wait until the next video to see what team I signed for for Moto2. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.